Yeah, what's good with you, bitch? We back. back. Wait, we're, we're, I even. I'm talking. Yo, what up? Oh, shit, I'm talking. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> <laughs> damn, you can't talk to him this way. What's up, guys? We back. We're reacting to <laughs> What's My Name by Young M. Yeah. Or what was it? Yeah, uh, Mel- Mel- Young M is cool. Melvin, whichever. Young M. All right. Melvin, respect. This is the noob review. The new. Oh, yeah. The noob review. The new. All right. Uh, let's hit play. Wait, we, bruh. The French. I got the sickest ad libs in the game. <laughs> I was crying before it was cool. <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah. Switch up. It's a uh, sicko mode back in the day. Fuck yeah. What's my name, dog? Yo, What's my name, dog? Yo, What you gonna do when we come up to your hood and tell your homies bad and shit? We were sitting down one day, right, trying to figure out what to write because this was before we got our shit together. Uh, at some point, we would we would only meet up like twice a week, yeah. And eventually we got to, we spend the entire week writing like one song maybe, and then we come into the booth to get it done. Uh, but this was before we got organized and had a system and shit. So we're trying to plan shit out. And I was like, bro, I got it. You know, the year was probably like 2014. And I was like, when was the last time you heard somebody make a song about their name? You know, Jay-Z did that shit. My name is Hove. Fucking, you know, Kanye kind of did that shit in a way. I miss the old Kanye. I miss the duh, Kanye, all that shit. And then obviously Eminem did that. I was like, it's been years so you got to do a song like that, too. And we found this beat and all that. Mm-hmm. And we got a, together a bunch of people. It's a, it's a youth facility that we were recording, and that's where the studio was at. So we got a bunch of people from the other programs to come in just to be like, Young M and shit, you know, so layered. Oh, that's fire. So there, there I go. That was like my one of my prouder moments of being a producer. Because it's not all about, you know, getting the beat together. It's about making decisions like that to improve the song. So, there we go. Let's. Damn, but I think you were like the loudest person to scream. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I could. Like, you really stand I'm, out. Cause I didn't. I didn't fucking. I mean, like I said, this is the first time I was producing shit, so I was trash at mixing. If I could, if I did that again today, you uh. <laughs> yeah. What's my name, dog? Young M. What's my name, dog? Young M. What you gonna do when they come up to your hood and tell your homies bad and shit? I don't uh, know. You see me in the hood, what well, that's good, cause it means I'm in the mood for something you never seen. It's like you're stuck in your own school and I'm the dean. My rhymes make no sense, like Damn. right now, that's how you know all these words wanna come out the same time. Young's rhymes are tight, it's one of a kind. I know, bitch, can't you tell I'm. So, this is another example of that shit where it's like, <clears throat> this is totally on me. Uh, one. You know, I have I had his mic volume a little too high, so there's clipping. There's like little sound distortions that you shouldn't be hearing in music. Uh, second, you know, his shit was is it goes on and off beat. It's it's like not perfectly there, and that's also my fault because like we didn't take the time to sit down and actually practice his shit. He would write it right off the top and then just immediately record it, and I would just say fuck it we only have an hour and i would just fucking publish that shit on youtube so that's my bad for making them look bad no man it's still good bro yeah you gotta put counts like oh you guys were like brand new i guess yeah 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 so and that's why it's on noob review let's get it young and getting it but I want the world to know This ain't about the fame or the throne Now you think I'm late But the truth is I'm ahead of the game Like a piece of egg and cheese Remember say please Cause you need it when you need it with me Cause I'm the meanest MC It's like rare meat and Greek You get a deal? Make it feel real Cause it's two groups together LA Virus and Knock Steady Hella sure I'm hella ready uh, LA Virus? Oh shit yeah, yeah, yeah. Ad-libs, though. yeah so <laughs> I told you I killed the ad lib <laughs> game <laughs> I love it I, I low-key got a feature on all of this shit but <laughs> so that was actually a really dope shout out uh quick little story time moment 
uh, when I was in, and you guys at home, you know, you'll get this story on the next reaction that we post. But when I was talking about the group two one three, right? There was one homie in our group called Andy, and he was the skater homie, and he ended up dropping out on in his freshman year because he he got his girlfriend pregnant, and he was like, you know what? Even though I'm 14, I'm gonna go get a job and I'm gonna go be a fucking dad, and he did that shit. Like he was, he was in L.A. Times twice. Hello. He was in L.A. Times twice because by the time he was 16, he was a father of two, and they had their own place back when he was like 14, 15, and he was providing for the whole family, dog. At the age of six fucking teen. Um, Damn, so inspirational. So, yeah. So <laughs> when we all reconnected and shit, because they're the same age as me, even though I'm, I was a great hire. When we all reconnected. Uh, he even had his own company because back when we met him, you know, we were like 12, 13, and he was a skater who was sponsored by companies. He always had fresh ass gear and he even had stickers and shit. And so fast forward, he started his own company called LA Virus. And sh- I don't know what ended up uh, flopping, but he was eventually, he was trying to host this whole ass concert and shit. And I was going to be one of the rappers for that. But you know things ended up falling through and that's that and then knock study was like a rap program that i was in so that shit was dope that he i've heard of that before yeah or seen of it yeah so he was shouting out all the homies with that one little line it was sick as fuck you don't like us they need double and i come up for your What's ass up? mcl double d give us a love fam you know i'm up for anything hey. when they die true then i'm real to everything i never back down on some loyalty shit because if ain't nope. a hit it will be in a bit because we be on some ride or die shit all right, all right yo hold up <laughs> all right break down to the people while you're cracking up we got to talk about this shit <laughs> <laughs> No, this is part of the reaction. Something's funny to you, so you just gotta like talk about that shit. If you're roasting, it's cool. <laughs> I was just say Rick Eagle, you're not boy ass. We're funny. What? But like, I, I like that. <laughs> All right, play. <laughs> it's like a bit random, though. What the ad libs are random? <laughs> Damn, we confusing Brandon. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what like that? That was a random, bro. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I didn't expect it comes out of nowhere, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know how they fucking worked. I was like, okay, I'm gonna just stand back here and I'm gonna just say shit when I think of saying something. What's my name, dog? Yo, man. What's my name, dog? Yo, man. What you gonna do when we come up to your hood and bad do your homies bang and shit? What's my name, dog? Yo, What's, What's my, my name, dog? Yo, What you gonna do when we come up to your hood and bad do your homies bang boys. shit? I don't know. Huh. What you gonna do when we bang up around your hood? I don't know. Okay, we don't bang, we ain't no gang. Hella sure that we gonna do that stuff, man. <laughs> I forgot I did this shit, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yo, this shit is kind of raw, though, no, that. <laughs> oh, oh, whoa, what? whoa, whoa, okay, okay, hip hop, pause, 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 whoa, yeah, that's a good ass image right there, okay, so you're gonna react to look at that, okay, all right, all right, all right, I gotta explain some shit to the viewers, <laughs> yo, Eric, I'm gonna have to say, us. okay, okay, yeah, careful, when, we, when we drop this, right, and I tell people the story all the time, <laughs> when I started making music, uh, and it's funny that this happens, because someone literally asked me, last night i was coming back from the studio mm-hmm. and, they were, and they were like hey you don't you don't ever say the n-word in your music well not in my music but <laughs> <laughs> but so and i and he was, was so interesting he was asking uh and i told him and i'm gonna keep it real short basically at the time when i started making music i was 13 and i was like bro i'm black i should be saying it uh representate on some stupid shit that didn't even really make sense (laughs) and then like dead ass a year later i was like bro not even a year later like two months later i was like this is kind of retarded bro and i don't i don't need to say it to be good whoa whoa you can't say that either (laughs) i i guess i i guess i thought that people wouldn't respect me if i was a black rapper who didn't say it but no i don't care yeah now I know it doesn't matter. <laughs> so, and at that time, 
that was my thing. It, it was like I would just go around saying Waka Flocka. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's kind of funny though. It's because like random as fuck. Yo, peep the. Let's back it up to my DJ skills though. And then this yeah. this clip this clip at the end was a uh, Melvin's idea. I thought it was fucking hilarious. Oh god, my ears. <laughs> I didn't make that sound. Wait. Alright, that's the clip. Oh. Uh, and yeah, where's that from? So, yeah. Breaking that shit down now. Uh, I, I don't know why I threw in the fucking DJ, no DJ noises, but I thought it was kind of fire. And I, I still fuck with it. Uh, But in, in the bottom, yeah, right? Kinda... On the bottom... Of all those noises I was making, I said Melvin sucks dick, M -m Melvin sucks dick, <laughs> and so that was like probably the second, third song that he was about to put up, and what I wanted to get into his head was the whole thing was you know obviously he only has a limited amount of time, even less time than I was allowed to be there, but he would just record his vocals and then dip, and it was on some homie homie shit where he was like you know I trust you I know that the music's gonna come out fire. I know you're going to do your thing, so I'm going to just go home. But I also wanted to get into his head, hey, we have to play back our music to make sure we're okay with it before we drop it. Because sometimes there's a mistake that we don't realize we made. And that's with anything that you do, you know, whether it's fucking drawing or whatever the hell. So he was like, no, 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 it's cool. I trust you. And he dipped. And I was like, all right, I'm going to teach him a lesson. So I went back into the song and I went to that end part. And I and I threw it in. I said, Melvin sucks dick. M -m Melvin sucks dick. That's fun. And he comes back the next day and he's like, hey, what happened? You didn't upload the song. And I was like, yeah, I just want to make sure that you're okay with it. He's like, bro, I told you. I trust you. Just upload it. I'm like, nah, 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 nah. You're going to want to hear this. So I hit play. And he's like, bro, it sounds fucking fine. I'm like, wait till the end. <laughs> Melvin sucks dick. M -m Melvin sucks dick. And he's like, yo, that's some bullshit. Yeah, was fired. So. But and that's the other thing. He was like, that's fucked up. But it sounds fire. <laughs> Upload that shit. Hey. <laughs> there was that dude at the very end who was like, yo, what the fuck? And that's um, LWG, I think is what he used to be called and shit. And we were just playing back the whole song. And he heard that Melvin sucks dick part. And he was like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but we were like, yo, that reaction sounds fire too. Let's leave that in. And <laughs> so we upload the song and Melvin goes to school and we're like, you know, this is this is usually where shit goes well because when rappers drop oh, that name, introducing themselves, telling you their name, bro, that's when their careers fucking go up, and that's when he started <laughs> getting a lot more fans because he he comes back to the studio with this fuck like a fuck you type of smile. I'm like, oh, what's, what's, shit. What, what's going on, bro? And he, and he was like, dog, as soon as I walked on campus, there was a whole crowd of people going, Melvin sucks dick, M -M Melvin sucks dick. <laughs> Yeah, got clouded. But all of them started following his shit, and they they thought it was hilarious. Then they started really fucking with his music, and so that was when his um his fan base really started to form. Oh, yeah, that shit worked well. It it did, and then by by the very next year, I wasn't making music with him anymore. But he was like he dropping a clothing line and shit, and every once in a while, I see somebody with one of his sweaters yeah. still, and I'm like, yo, you know Melvin. So it, it fucking worked. Yeah, respect. Hell yeah. Yeah. But that was the song. You know, that's what's my name. What, what I you liked think? it. It was raw, bro. Hell I yeah. feel like if you were to make it modern, <laughs> it would be fire. Fuck yeah. Low key, I would really like to to link up with Mel and like release some new shit or to redo some of the older shit. Facts, yo. All right, but that was the noob review. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, we'll catch you around. Later, bro. Later.